Hey guys, as you probably know, 3D Mark is available cross-platform, which gives us the ability to test iOS devices directly with Android devices. Now it's mainly a graphics benchmark, so we'll be testing out the GPU, and I wanted to make this video to test the Google Nexus 7 2013 and the Apple iPad Mini. The first test here is an OpenGL 2.0 benchmark. Now the test itself is actually rendered to an off-screen buffer at 720p and then scales the output to fit the native resolution of your device. So this test on both devices is actually rendered at 720p, so the actual display resolution doesn't affect the end result. So straight away you can see that the Nexus 7 has taken a lead. Now don't forget the Nexus 7 2013 has just been released whereas the iPad mini has been out for about a year so we should be seeing a refresh soon. Nonetheless you can see the frame rate on the Nexus 7 is a lot smoother. We're pretty much hitting the frame limiter at 720p. It's around 59 to 60 FPS pretty much the whole time. Whereas the iPad mini is struggling. You can see that there the frame rate is sometimes in the 12 to 15, sometimes even dipping into single figures. So it's pretty much a massive difference here. So I'm just going to keep skipping through the benchmark here otherwise the video is going to get a little bit boring and you can see here the Nexus 7 2013 again is very smooth it's pretty much on the frame limiter the whole time the iPad mini on the same section of the test you can see is very slow it's down in the 10 to 15 frames per second so there is a pretty massive difference here in terms of the hardware. So here are the results for the first test and you can see the Nexus 7 2013 easily beats the iPad mini. You can see the iPad scores 2895, the Nexus 7 scores maxed out. So we've actually maxed out this test here. If you check out the actual graphics tests themselves, you can see the Nexus 7 has a much higher FPS. So here we go with the second test that 3D Mark gives us and this is essentially the same as the first test except it's rendered off screen at 1080p instead of 720p so it's going to be more pixels to push and more demanding for the GPU. Now you can see here that it crashed out on the iPad mini and I tried this two or three times and it crashed out every time. Now I don't know why this is, maybe it's because it doesn't have quite enough RAM to do this but it crashed out on the 1080p test every time, so we're not gonna get any results for this. You can see on the Nexus 7, the frame rate is pretty smooth. Obviously, it's not quite as smooth as 720p because it's pushing a lot more pixels, but it does pretty well nonetheless. So let's just skip the results and see what happens. So here we go with the results of the off-screen 1080p test, and you can see the Nexus 7 scores 7,175. The FPSs aren't quite as high as when we were doing the 720p test, but that's pretty obvious. Nonetheless, the performance is still pretty good, and again, I couldn't get any results out of the iPad mini. This last test is completely off-screen. It doesn't have limitations like vertical sync or display resolution, so there's nothing capping the performance here. So this is probably the best test to actually see the performance difference here. So we're just going to go ahead and skip to the results. So here we go with the results and you can see the iPad mini scores 2,678 versus the Nexus 7 2013's 10,663. So you can see this test really does show you how big a difference there is between these two devices. If we check out the overall results, again, you can see the Nexus 7 just flat out wins. That's pretty obvious considering the Nexus 7 just came out and the iPad mini is a year old. We'll have to see what happens with the iPad mini too, but nonetheless, it's interesting that we have a benchmark that can be used cross-platform. So yeah, peace out.